Um, my name is Devin Street and I'm a freshman at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my dorm. Now just keep in mind if you think this dorm is kind of big it's because it is it's actually an honors dorm at the Horton Residence Hall and the thing is is that with the uh, honors college the honors program uh, all the honors students get uh, bigger dorms than the normal dorms at UNC Chapel Hill so these are going to be slightly bigger they're going to have uh, different things other dorms wouldn't in them but for the most part this is kind of what you should expect as far as like uh, how the walls are going to be, um, sort of how the room is going to be laid out with two beds, two desks. Um, so I'm just going to be showing my half today and we're going to be taking a look around at what all I have in my dorm. So just walking in here, you'll see there's this nice hallway coming into the room. So we have this nice long hallway down here right over here is the bathroom door and i just wanted to give you a tour of this hallway first so down here we have our refrigerator it's got the nice unc basketball logo on it and we've got a freezer up here i've got some meals in there uh, down here in the refrigerator we just have some sodas some waters uh, if we need to put anything else in there we can and then right up here Above it is a nice microwave if we need to microwave any of those meals, pop some popcorn or anything like that. Above that we have a coffee maker just in case we need some coffee. It's late at night, we're doing a lot of homework and the coffee maker is great for that. On the right side of the hallway we have our door to our bathroom right here. We got a mirror on it and we share this with another room so two other people uh, that's in our suite. We share uh, one bathroom together and two rooms that are very, very large rooms. And then if we come over here and look on the left side, we'll see that there's a whiteboard here. If we have to write anything important down, any business that we're doing with uh, any clients or sponsors or whatever, it's all put down right here. So over here on my side of the room, we have these big dressers. Now, uh, this is a corner room of Horton. Most of the Horton rooms have closets, but the corner rooms don't have a space for a closet, so instead we've get, got uh, big dressers to put our stuff in. So if we go ahead and open this up, they're kind of hard to open. We'll see, you've got a rack right here on this side of the door, and then there's going to be a mirror on this door. And then looking up at the top of the dresser, you're gonna have a sh sort of shelf up here. You can put whatever you want up here. I just have like my belts, um, a mug, some safety stuff, some first aid and all that. And then down below that, you're going to have two different sectioned off areas that have a wall in between them. And in between this wall, you're going to have a bar where you can hang your clothes at. So looking at my side, I have uh, my shirts, my dress shirts, uh, my suits, uh, my jackets, my sweatshirts, all of that on the racks. And below the racks, I have some space. So I include my shoes, um, my slides, my dress shoes, all of that goes into these this little bottom section below the shirts. Now below all that, at the bottom of the dresser, you are going to have two drawers on both sides. So if I go ahead and open these up, like this drawer, it just has some cleaning products in it, some Lysol, uh, some disinfection wipes and things like that. And then the other drawer on this side has some of my like stuff I get ready with in the morning. So I have my razors in here. I have this little, uh, carrying thing so I can put like my shampoos, my body wash, uh, all sorts of stuff, my rags, my towels. I can put this all in there and carry it into the bathroom if I don't want to have my stuff in the bathroom. Next up we have these dresser drawers right here. So on the top drawer I usually keep like a lot of my stuff like my camera equipments in here, my microphones, a massive case full of a ton of my equipment. A lot of accessories are in here like bike mounts, um, spare cameras, spare batteries, all kinds of stuff like that is in this case. And that's basically all that I keep on the top drawer. And then coming down to the second drawer, 
we're going to have uh, just my shorts I put in here. I put all my shorts um, and my pants and my dress pants and that's basically the only things that grow, go in this drawer is just bottoms. And then going down below that, we're going to have um, underwear and socks in this drawer. So basically, anytime I just got out of the shower and I need to put underwear on, I come here. And then when I'm getting ready to go out the door, I put my socks on and then put my shoes on. So this drawer is where I keep underwear and socks. The next drawer, I don't have anything in. It's free space for whatever I want to use it for. And then the bottom drawer, also sort of the same, but right now it's empty because it actually is where my towels and rags go. So whenever I need to take a shower in the morning, I'm just gonna go up to this bottom drawer, open it up, I take a rag out, I take a towel out, and I run into the bathroom and go ahead and take my shower. So now let's go ahead and look at what's on top of these. So on top of the dresser drawer, we have a digital clock right here if I'm sleeping or taking a nap or anything and I just need to look over and see what time it is and I don't need to grab my phone or look at a screen at night. Then the clock's right here. Right beside that I have a Mysterio Funko Pop. I love Spider-Man. I really loved Far From Home. Mysterio is one of my favorite Marvel villains so I decided to bring him to the room and set him here. Next up we have a fan. If it gets too hot in the room, just turn the fan on and it will cool everything down. We also have central air, so the fans need it sometimes. And then coming down the line slightly, we're going to have a mini ironing board and an iron. So every single morning I go to my dresser, I take a shirt out and then I sort of take this fan off and set it to the side and I put my ironing board down on top of the dresser drawer and then plug my iron up and iron right here. And it may look like at the moment that the dresser drawer is a bit too tall and we're gonna get into a second about how I stand up above and look down and um, iron from there. And then on top of these dressers, I have a box over here and it doesn't really have much in it. It just has some extra stuff from move-in. Uh, then I have a popcorn bucket. I just decided to bring this for decoration or something. If I ever pop popcorn, I might put it in the popcorn bucket because it keeps everything uh, nice, it keeps popcorn from going stale, so uh, if you want to take some popcorn with you, if you want to save some for later, you might as well put it in the popcorn bucket. And then I have this, and this is my snack bin. So in here, we're going to have a variety pack of Cheez-Its, Lay's chips, uh, Fritos, uh, beef jerky, Everything like that is in this drawer. And then behind that, I even have more snacks. I have a family fun mix Frito-Lays pack that has like uh, sour cream and cheddar chips, uh, Cheetos Crunchy, Cheetos Soft, uh, sour cream Ruffles, uh, Funyuns, and barbecue twist Fritos. Before we take a look at the bed, let's look at this little space in between uh, the dresser drawer and the bed, and that is just a storage cabinet. Um, I have above here, I have all my chargers for charging my phone, my uh, battery bank, uh, anything like that goes above this. And then in here, I keep my secure stuff. So if I'm not taking my headphones with me for the day, I drop them in here. If I'm not taking my laptop, I drop it in here, uh, and I lock everything up. So uh, if any roommate wanted to try to get into something, they couldn't. The suite mates, if they come over from the bathroom, they can't. Uh, if someone somehow gets into the room that's not supposed to be in here, uh, they cannot get to the stuff I don't want stolen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the bed situation. So right here's my bed. Uh, we've got a UNC comforter on it. Uh, underneath, I have another blanket. Uh, up here, I have three pillows. I have one that says Tar Heels. I have a UNC logo pillow and then just a normal white pillow. And then back here on the other end of the bed, I have a backrest if I wanna just sit on my bed and rest my back. I have this. What I really love about the entire room is this area up here. So what this is, is this is like a brick fabric that I got on Amazon for 
I wanna say $20, and it's really awesome for how cheap it is because this really defines the room and makes the room look fresh and different compared to the uh, white concrete wall. And uh, just looking at this, this is already pretty cool, but then I also have some blue LED light strips. I got these on Amazon for also about $20, and I got them a really long time ago. And with these, um, I just like put them around sort of where the brick was. I sort of used it as a perimeter, and then I can turn the lights on and uh, just light it up. That's not all, this isn't just blue. It comes with a remote that has tons of colors on it. And we can also do some things like flashing. And one of my favorite modes is the fade mode. So you're gonna see that it fades from color to color. It's gonna go from blue to green to red, yellow, pink, purple, orange, uh, all kinds of colors in this fade. Now I said my bed was kind of high up. Uh, this is also what I said about the dresser when I need to iron. So how do I get into bed very easily? Cause I can still get into the bed without anything, but like it's really hard because I have, I'm six foot and it's still hard to really get up on this bed because it's kind of too high up. So what I have here actually, if we'll look down here, is a stool. And in the stool I keep pillowcases and blankets, extras of those. But what the main purpose of this is, is that I can easily just step on it and get up onto my bed and there's gonna be no problem there. Next up we have this back corner. Now this is the part of the room that doesn't really have much going on. So I have decided to go ahead and throw up an Avengers Endgame poster right here. And then over here, we have a mirror, just in case I don't wanna go all the way over to the one at the bathroom. I have one here as well. Looking down here, we have a uh, wall outlet over here. So I usually plug in my laptop charger right here and it runs to my laptop on my desk. And over here, all the way in the corner of the entire room is a little trash can to throw all my trash in whether that's snacks papers whatever and then right here I've got another small little dresser drawer thing and basically I just keep some stuff in here like most of this has to be like cleaning this is uh, some bleach tablets um, I also have some gain in here so basically all this stuff is for washing my clothes and uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. This is, there's some gloves as well. These are mostly all cleaning supplies just for either cleaning the room or uh, washing my clothes. And then below that, we have uh, extra toilet paper, extra paper towels, um, and then a gallon storage bag just in case I need to store anything. I have some bags right here. And then finally, this last drawer has absolutely nothing. And then finally, I wanted to talk about my desk because this is the area I absolutely spend the most time in. So I have my chair right here. It's a extremely comfy chair. So you actually lean back in it and the back goes back as you lean back. So it's almost sort of like a little recliner chair. Um, and then, Right here on the desk, I've sort of got whatever's going on right here. So right now, it's like the first week of classes. So I've got my planner here, um, and this just has like a calendar in it, schedule, maps, all of that stuff. I have this right here, uh, this little container. I don't have a real use for it yet. I'm just like throwing some stuff in there like uh, headphone wires, um, a pen, uh, some small little stuff that I've been given as freebies on campus. And then moving over, I've got my laptop in the center of the desk. And connected to the laptop is a two terabyte uh, storage drive. This is really, really helpful because laptops can run out of space so fast, but it's kind of getting hard to fill up this two terabyte storage drive because even though I make so many videos, I make a video every single day, 
and I record video every single day at 4K, 60 frames per second. Those are heavy um, amounts of storage, but it's still really hard to fill up this storage drive very fast. Underneath my laptop, I have my calendar. Any important events that are happening, I go ahead and write them down. Plus on the side, I have a list of things I can create, reminders and to-dos. And then beside that is my mouse pad. Uh, with my mouse on it, I use a wireless mouse by simply plugging a little USB connector into my laptop. And it's really helpful to get a wireless mouse over a wired one because you never know where you're gonna be and it's so much easier to transport this. It's so much easier to just go ahead and like drop it down on any desk, just flip it on and you're gonna be able to use it easily. Next up, I have my keys. My keys are one of my most important things because I carry them with me everywhere I go. So I've got uh, a UNC light on here and just in case I ever need a light, if my phone's dead, I have this one. Next up, I have the key for the filing cabinet. So whenever I'm getting ready to leave, I run over to the filing cabinet, drop my important stuff in and lock it. I've also got the key to the room and the key to my building. So whenever I need to get to the building, I just use this, uh, swipe it near the door and it opens up the door and I can get in. And then one of the cooler things I have on my keychain is actually a tile. Now tiles are really important because it keeps you from losing your stuff. You don't know how many times I have lost the keys, not down here, but like in general, uh, back at home, I lost my keys so much. So the tile connects with your smartphone and you can basically do two things. If you've lost your keys, you can pull out your phone and you can look up where your keys were last left. Um, you can go and look at the history of where the tile and your keys are at, and you can also make it make a sound. So if it's somewhere in your room and you can't find it, you can just click a button and it's gonna make a sound and you're gonna be able to find your keys. But if you haven't lost your keys and you instead lost your smartphone, you can simply just click on the tile and it's gonna start making a sound for your phone and you're gonna be able to find your phone that way. And back here on the back of the desk, I have my desk lamp. I have a couple of cups given to me by Christian organizations on campus that I can throw candy in and pens and anything that I need on my desk to just like quickly grab, I can throw into these cups. And then finally, one of my more favorite items I have are my Sony headphones. Whenever I'm leaving the room, I usually grab these, just throw them around my neck. If I'm not using them, then you can simply just fold them and they sort of like cup up to like your neck, chest area. So basically these are my favorite headphones I've ever had. They have such great sound quality. Uh, they have digital noise canceling. Um, and I bought them about over a week ago now. It's been a week and one day. I charged them all the way up right when I bought them and I haven't had to charge them since. And that includes like maybe four to five hours of video editing at night, along with listening to music, doing my 15 minute walk to class. Uh, these have such a good battery life. I think it's like 35 hours straight of battery. So basically you're not going to run out of battery quickly. And like I said, I do heavy video editing with these for a very long time. So the average person's gonna be using these for even longer. I know another person I met yesterday who said that they had these and they said they went an entire month without ever running out of battery. So you really don't need to worry about charging these. Maybe like at the end of a week, you can plug them up at night and they're not like a smartphone. You don't have to plug it up every night and have fear that uh, if you didn't plug it up, you won't have battery the next day. Like, very, very good battery. Also, just wanted to point out, there's also three drawers right here on this desk and a drawer right here, but I don't really have anything in these besides just paper and scissors. Uh, stuff that I'm not really using goes into these drawers. 
and that is a tour of my entire dorm room. I know this video is like super long. I'm looking at the camera right now and it says it's been recording for 35 minutes. I don't know how much of that I'm going to trim down, but this has just been an extensive look at my side of the room. I'm not even showing uh, Ryan's side. He's got a lot more stuff that you could look at. I'm sure he's probably gonna make a video about it eventually. So yeah, I wanna thank you for watching this video and if you want to see more college life, if you are interested in UNC, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe because I do a video every single day at Chapel Hill. So there's plenty of videos out there for you to watch.